we'll have some great stuff. This is three out of five for the rest of the tournament. The tournament was two out of three and two this point, which uh, led to some upsets, as Super Turbo is wont to do. Um, and yeah, and I'm really excited about it. I'm actually still in this tournament. I'm in losers uh, after uh, you know scrubbing my way out. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I am really stoked to be here. Uh, ST's great game. Yes. Uh, you know, support it in the uh, the Evo vote-in game. But if not, if it doesn't get in, if it loses to... We'll still have our side tournament. Yeah, we'll have if, a good time anyway. If, if it turns out that Pokemon or Marvel is somehow uh, more popular than a 20-year-old, 25-year-old uh, video game... No skin off our back. Yeah. But so. anyway, so we're getting ready to get into the first match, which is going to be Atari versus Immortal. So, Atari, he's... With He's been swip switching around today between Boxer and uh, Guile, mm -hmm. and Immortal, just known as one of the best claws in America. Yep. And Definitely. Uh, Immortal had, uh, a, a once upon a time, qualified for SBO. Uh, and, and he qualified for both Tournament of Legends. Yes, both TOLs. Uh, very, very uh, good claw play. Uh, he likes going off the wall. And what's actually really funny, if you play him in different games, he likes playing Vega and every He's a, very, he's, he's a very character loyal. And uh, he likes going off the wall in every game that he's in. I do the same. Depend and, and, it, and even when it's not very good. Uh, Street Fighter 4. Yeah, Street Fighter 4. <laughs> uh, uh, CBS 2. Uh, and then Alpha 3. Uh, he'll, he'll go off the wall. So old habits die hard. Uh, we'll see how this one goes. Um, first off, we'll just see who Atari picks. I, yes, think that, I think it's going to be Guile, most likely. But he has been saying that he wanted to integrate more Boxer into his game plan. Yeah. Into, just into his, he wants to move away from Guile and towards Boxer. Yeah, well, I hope so too. I, I think Guile's is main, but that's a really, really terrible matchup for Guile. So we'll see how I've, it goes. I, I, I've been trying to steer him away from Guile and towards DJ <laughs> because DJ's just better Guile and he wants to play that style. But if he wants to pick Boxer, he'll, he can play yep. Boxer. All right, so you ready? Let's go. Or, uh, Oh, wait, we're not ready? Almost. We're on our way there. All right, not ready yet. So look, while we're waiting, let's, let's talk about some of the other, um, other matchups coming up. After this is going to be Roy Bizzle against Archvillain. So Roy Bizzle, another one of these legendary names in Super Turbo in, in this part of the country. Yeah. Um, I believe he qualified for the first Tournament of Legends. I don't even know if he participated in the second one. Uh, I, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I don't, yeah, I don't remember either. Um, he's actually really local to me now. I live in Dayton, uh, and he uh, lives nearby. And I just remember going out and, and playing in some Super Turbo, and it, that that the um, that the first the first time I, I played, I was like, okay, this guy he looks pretty solid. Uh, and he started just basically kicking the crap out of me, and I was like, man, this guy is legit. And I play boxer, and then I see whenever I see another boxer combo into super. Like, it's nothing, just jab, jab, super. Yeah. Uh, th those things are hard to do in Super Turbo because you can't actually naturally cancel in the super. You know, like, render cancel it. Or yeah. Is it a render cancel? Yeah, first? so you have to do, you have to chain cancel and, and into, uh, no, Atari's the second player. I believe Atari's going to be in first player. Yeah, yeah, he's going he's gonna to be first. All right, so we're going right into it. Um. So let's see. So let's, let's see who we who we get. So Immortal going with Vega. So Immortal is second player. Immortal is going to be on player two side. So we're going to flip him. Let's go ahead and flip the names. Okay. So we're going right into it. So we know we know what Claw wants to do. What does Guy want to do in this matchup? Uh, the generality. Man, he, he, it's going to be rough. We know, but he he basically has to watch out for slides under the boom. So he wants to keep Vega at a range where Vega can't slide under booms and punish him. Because once that knockdown happens. There goes the ridiculous shenanigans. He probably wants to stay in the corner so he can't get crossed up. So Vega just coming in and, and now he's just there bullying. He so yeah, now he now he gets exactly where he wants to be. He want, he's got him forced into the corner and now he can just just Scarlet or Rolling Crystal Flash yep. and um, just bully and All right. bait, bait a throw or bait a jump or a throw or low forward, something like that and so Mortal, that he can punish it. Mortal takes the first round. All right, oh, wall All right. dodge okay. straight away. And now okay. the fake wall, uh, baiting a flash kick. He's going to do that a lot because mm -hmm. that's really Guile's only option in most scenarios. Because if Claude, 
if Claw wants to early claw or early claw off the wall dive, he can't hit them. But if he doesn't, he can just land okay. in front of them. Scarlet Terror, you can combo after that. It's a nice juggle scenario. Right, no more he, knockdowns. No claw now, so he need he doesn't really have the range or or anything else. But he finishes it off with the throw. Goes to a character change. See if he, you know, wants yeah. to switch it up. And just so you guys know, it is three out of five the rest of the way. So mm -hmm. these guys. All right, sticking with Guile. Yep. All right. I, I don't. I mean, it, it, he feels that you know it's what his bread is butter with, so he's gonna try to go with it. It's, I, his, it's currently his best character, so there's no reason. It's, I guess in his mind, no reason to not be playing. All Guile. right. And no matter how. So Immortal baits out the flash kick there by pulling the uh, the wall dive short. Uh, just doing, you know, that slide range is so dangerous because he cannot throw a sonic boom when he's in Vegas yeah, slide range. And that's about half screen. Yeah. So that's a that's a longer range than most other character slides. Yeah. The DJ slide doesn't go that far. Dicta yeah. Well, Dictators does, but it's he's standing up, so he's mm. going to get hit by the Sonic Boom anyway. This is, this is just a tough match. Um, all right, so he manages to bring out the wall dive and does an anti air to air for, to do it, establishing a good Sonic Boom range there. So, I mean, what, what Atari wants to be doing is just staying in the spot where he's in the, towards the middle of the screen mm -hmm. and denying wall dives and so so that he's not just Brent getting mixed up. The forgoes whole way. the claw. Right. So he's about to chip him out there. Oh, All right. back, back flips Punish. to get away, but gets punished by jumping around house. That's right. Um, so we got 1 1, one in, the, in the second game here. Yeah. And just. Just so you guys know, Mortal is up one to zero right now. So, all right. If games see, go by. Games go by very quick in this game. So, see now you guys are understanding the the, the the danger of tossing out those sonic booms. Whenever you trade with that slide, you get the they get the knockdown, and Vega can pretty much set up whatever he wants, even if he eats the boom. It's not a good trade for Guile. Yeah, it ends up, and then what happens is tick throws. Claw, Claw just is able to close the distance, and if he wants to start tick throwing, like exactly what happened there, he's gonna just bully him until he's in submission. Okay. So, oh, Atari Immor switches to Boxer now. All right, Immortal up 2-0, two, two and that prompts the character switch to Boxer. Let's okay, see how so, he goes. So, Boxer will have an easier time because he can do jump back fierce and... Um, I do jump back medium punch. And jump back medium punch as well because mm -hmm. it's more horizontal. So, let's just... I mean, really, he needs to establish the, the offense, and he needs, he needs to try to get away via, with a fierce headbutt whenever the, the wall dives are coming. Exactly. So yeah, he wants to generate the space, and so that he could start pressure, mm -hmm. like force it so that it is Atari's or it's Boxer's turn now instead of yeah. All right, right so you can't. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't get thrown there. Fake is one of the very few ones that it's really hard to do Boxer throw loops on because he can basically throw you before you hit the ground. Yes. Now, Vegas just kind of establishing pokes, playing a, a safe game. Let's see if he can do it. He goes for it. Does the flips to get away. Yeah, it's a backflip to get out of there. Ooh, oh, there you go. Out. Let's jump back fierce or, jump or back around. Fierce. Yeah, no, it doesn't either, matter, really. They look the same. <laughs> That's the always, animations. Yeah, Boxer's animations are very unique for all of his buttons. Mm -hmm. All right, doesn't doesn't soften the throw there. He's in the corner. That's a bad headbutt. Going to get put right back in the corner there. So now, now Claw, now Immortal here is just, he's just pressuring and he's not, he's keeping space away. So he's, mm -hmm. It's almost as if he was only with a fireball, but it's with just standing strong, mm -hmm. standing medium punch and crouching medium punch as well. All right, Sky High Claw just, yeah, just to get out to generate the space. I, I'm not really seeing him develop like you know the typical boxer offense, and then he goes down. That's uh, mm -hmm. a three-zero count for Brent. All right, uh, so Brent so moves on into him. winners' finals, All and right. now we're, we have Roy uh, Bizzle and Arch Villain. Yep. Roy Bizzle versus Arch Villain. All right, so Arch I, Villain, uh, Chicago player. Mm -hmm. No, I know a lot about him. We've been playing together for years and years and years. He's a dictator player mostly, um, but I have seen him dabble in other characters. But I don't think he's going to play anything else but dictator today. Uh, no, I spell it out for him. Um, so yeah, so Roy plays a lot of different characters. It's Frank. He plays a lot of different characters. He can play Dalsam, he can play Boxer, he can play Ryu. Uh, and I was playing him in Casuals earlier. He's playing Chun Li. Yeah, uh, he doesn't. He, he doesn't like the the feel of Chun Li. Uh, he says he, he's not very comfortable with her. Uh, 
Um, I saw him playing Cannon Casuals earlier, too. Um, and so he could, yeah, he'll, he'll be able to play a lot of different. Hold on. That's our shot. Okay. So, oh, okay, we're playing Boxer. Um, so, so Roy Bizzle's playing Boxer versus Dictator. Versus, yes. Versus Arch Villain's Arch Dictator. Arch Villain's Dictator. So, now this is this is interesting because they just kind of want to, knowing how our shot plays, he mm -hmm. wants to be a bully. Yeah. And Boxer is a bully. So. Yeah, it really comes down to uh, who who gets who gets throws a lot. You act, you can't do the throw loops um, like on the cross-up yeah. throw loops on dictator because he'll throw you right out of them. So you want to kind of go to the front and do something like that. Okay, yeah. Um, and basically la make him land on meaties. Mm -hmm. And you also, if you are the kind of player, the kind of dictator player that likes to do touch of death with, yeah. th with him, you're not going to be able to really do that against boxer because the way his hitbox or his his animation moves, it moves him too far away to really, like, mm -hmm. if you cross him up, you're going to get thrown. Yep. Quick game run to yep. Roy Bizzle. Yep. So. And this is why this is a three out of five, because these games go fast. Exactly. While we're just setting up what yep. the gameplay is, we, right. missed, All right. we missed the so entire first game. Fist sweep, because the scissors there actually gets the throw there, fails the reverse in time, uh, does a reversal strong. throw, crosses under. Does the, the block string in the swing? It's a, he's got him in the corner now. Super's loaded. All right. So now, now Arch Villain's got to be yep. super careful. He could reverse the super probably. Nope. Didn't no, get, no, it doesn't. The, it doesn't he has no punish. Him. Yeah, I, I always forget that. The only pa only character in the game that can punish Boxer Super is Zangief and Seahawk. Yeah, because they could just zero zero yeah. frame three sixties. All right. Does the Devil's reverse hits him down? This oh that crossed up. Buddy put himself in the corner. That's a tough spot to be. Knocks out, knocks out the Psycho Crusher. Knocks him down, see what he, what he goes here. Ooh, nice cross up, but doesn't fall through the combo. Doesn't, doesn't soften the throw either. All right, there we go. So Dark Villain takes his first round. Mm -hmm. I liked how he, he, he did the more pressure there. He got, got a couple of successful throws. Starts off with a fist sweep. Uh-oh, is he going to go to the front again? No, he goes to the back. Now he's in the front. Yep. So. There we go. Stomp. See, oh. There's so much. Okay, didn't soften the throw here. See. Now he can keep him in, and he reverses. Ooh, that uh, is so tricky. Super tricky. Um, basically, he's, he cancels in the whiff up, rush upper, and to grab. And I don't really know many people that can react to that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I can kind of, because. Cause, if you uh, happen to be mash and throw. Well, Mike, yeah, Mike Watson did that. Tried to do that to me at, uh, yeah. at X Mania qualifier, right. and I up kicked it. All right. Manages to get that that didn't combo, but uh, see what happens. He stays in front, and Ooh, that's a perfect. There you go. That was yeah, it was a perfect. It was very convincing. Yeah, very convincing. So, so here we go. Let see if he's on set point. Yes, he is definitely on set point. Now he's now Arch is just trying to slow it down. Yep. Because he doesn't want to get oppressed like this. Okay, puts him in the corner. He gets a nice thrown. He gets throw softened, but that doesn't necessarily help the situation because Bison oh, recovers really quickly. Yeah, there you go. Gets the throw. throw. Front, goes oh, under. He needs right. to get these reversals. Oh, he manages to get away. That's good. All right. Psycho Crusher cross up? No. No. Forward, All right. Thrown. You got that reversal throw, and then we have another zero. All right. So Roy Bizzle goes on to winner's finals. Yep. So next it's we have be Mad King against Bonky. Mad King versus Bonky. So. All right, so I have no idea. Who the, I think one of these characters, one so, of these people plays Boxer. Yep, Mad King plays Boxer. These are both Midwest players. These are both Midwestern players. Mm -hmm. Bonky is from Chicago. I know him very well. He's the one that actually knocked it. No, losers. Yeah. Mad King, Bonky. Mad King versus Bonky. So, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Bonky, Chicago player, so mm -hmm. I know him very well. He was the one that actually knocked me out. So, uh, yeah, Bl very good, very, very good Blanca player. Um, ooh, Blanca. Yes, ooh, Blanca. We got a Blanca in top eight. So. Man, I, okay, so I, I'm going to riff on Blanca. Blanca is so bad. Yes, he's like, not a good kid. 
Like, I mean, objectively speaking, in the context of the game, he is not a good character. You're right. I, uh, and the thing is, is uh, it's not only as bad as that his only effective real strategy is to get in and bite your face off. Um, Sometimes that'll work. Yeah. Because Boxer, it's not going to, it shouldn't if Mad King's on, if yeah, Mad King is on his game. Shouldn't. So, really, all Boxer has to do is down back. Um, yes. Low strong beats everything. Any, any blocked Blanca ball gets hit. Yes. Or you just get dizzied and... Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of gimmicks that he can do against Boxer, but they're all they're all gimmicks. You really have to establish a defensive perimeter, though. Yeah, oh, a lot of a lot of what Blanca is doing is trying to catch you sleeping. Yep. Which against Boxer a, just isn't going to happen. That's a good Casey magic button right there, there. That low forward, he reversal against maybe a throw attempt there. there all right. Go. So whenever you look at that, that low strong is a great magic button because he has no hit box or hurt box on the entire. Low strong. Yeah, it's just all giant red mm -hmm. blob that's just ah, in front of didn't, him. Didn't get the throw there. See, Blanca, that's a three. If he goes walks under, that's a free throw from Blanca. Yep. Just there like that. Just like that. And he doesn't now, so, he doesn't uh, even mash or soften out the mash, so he, that was yeah. full damage. Well, he more could, or less full he damage. Should, he should just keep on going for bites, but he he, he uh, let that go, and then he, that cost him the game game one. Uh, there's really it's really hard. If he does the bite and then just does jump short bite again, that's really hard for uh, Boxer to get out of, unless he has super. Because in order to block the jump short, you need to block high, and in order to do your headbutt, you need to charge low. So yes. it's 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 tough. And if and if you're not charging already, yeah, and it's easy to safe jump his um, his headbutt because it's so slow. Yes, because it's one as far as like charge down up. Anti airs is probably the slowest one in the game. Yes. Twelve frames or something. All yeah, right. Something along those lines. So here we go. Um, there you gets, go. Bits gets a blocked. Headbutt. Not the headbutt. Two hit combo. Oh. See, there's nothing really you can do about that, oh, and no. that just gives it up. I don't know. Oh, oh the, the trickery. The, the tricky super. The tricky super. That was huh. good. He held it. You can hold that super just like you can in a lot of different games. Yeah. All right. Ooh, gets the head bite. So that's and another thing. Successfully so it's crosses just up. Neutral cross ups on Boxer because again, how we mentioned before, the way that his block animation works, you end up screwing yourself a lot if you don't hit exactly what you need, mm -hmm. exactly when you want it. All right. Gets so he hits high. That's actually a thing about this game is a lot of times if you hit too high on a, an opponent, grabs are instant, and you'll get thrown for free. Yep. So. All right. Fist sweep beats electricity there. I actually think that this boxer isn't playing de nearly defensive enough and giving uh, him opportunities to get yeah, in. Yeah, he's he's playing more aggressively than this matchup calls for, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what he, he's trying for. Mad King is just trying for just reversaling to generate the momentum back so that he can just yeah. start running the, the so boxer game. I, I mean, my strategy against Blanca is just to hold down back and let Blanca react to whatever Blanca does. Yeah, and generally, going, like, jab and low sweep would, yeah. uh, and crouching medium kick generally beat out most of what Blanca's mm -hmm. going to do at, that, at, like, ranges where it's reasonable. Yep. To Gets the stun. Oh, no, drops the drops the kill combo, though. Uh, does he have a kill combo? I, I mean, he could have done something that would have done 30%. Yeah. All right. He gets the that, that fist sweep combo, which is meaty low forward, low roundhouse for that knockdown. Right, well, we caught him sleeping, I guess, right there. I think he caught him wanting to slide yeah. at the start of the round. Oh, All right, trades. Electricity does have a very good like kind of hitbox. You have to you have to tip it in order to get it in. See if he does the jump. Yeah, it's not like in, it's not like in later games where the hitbox of mm -hmm. electricity is actually way higher off the ground mm -hmm. than um, than it is All right. here. Takes game two. So. so that's kind of what Mad King's wanting to do. He's just wanting to just be oppressive. And when he, when you give him an inch, he will take a mile. Yep. that's what he's trying to do. So all Baki has to do is just. I would not like give to see a I would. I would like to see more dash uppers to any air. Um, he's not really controlling him out of the air as much as it, much as you would like to do. Yes. He's kind of jumping with impunity. See, so gave him the bite there. Why do you Why do you want to give him the bite? What right. the? <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he just did whiffing want him to roundhouses, fisted sweeps, got him in the corner. But he's got to make something happen. He's got no life left. All right, gets thrown, See? walks forward. Uh, tries to go for the cross up. Don't Shit. if he tried. If he doesn't try to punish it. It's good. Nice. There you go. Takes the so, trade. There you go. He just 
He just had a very good life lead. So once you have that life lead, then you can kind of negotiate when you want to actually fight this match. Exactly. That's good. All right. Good, for Bonky there. Ooh, good combo. That the, it's possible I'd hit if if Balrog has sloop super. So yes, which general yep. generally speaking, Boxer is going to have super at least once in a game. Yeah, need to do the low rush in order to punish block a ball consistently. There you go. Or uh, jab straight rush. He went for the wrong one. It's thrown. Taps. Uh, not enough. Oh. Uh, so that's he tried to he tried to do hop throw and hop throw. Got uh, got punished for it. It is not very. It's not that fast. Yeah. Uh, it's only kind of good if you manage to catch him sleeping like that. Right. Noms. There you go. Got pushed him through the corner, but immediately gets right back out. Yep. And it's hard knockdown. Well, there are no soft knockdowns in this unless yeah. you're attacking throws. And just trying All to right. electricity him out. Let's see, he's All got right. a big he's got a big lead, does the, the does the super chip. That is very punishable. So very much so. Could have could have gone very badly for him. Uh, especially even especially if he had super, but he yeah. didn't. He was it's just being. The, Go ahead. Yeah, it's one of the two worst supers in the game. Uh, Blanca's super and Honda super uh, will just randomly not work. Yeah, but say Honda super is bad for completely different reasons. Yeah. All right, so I think we have two two, right? It is two two right now. Wow, that's that's very good considering this matchup is probably at least seven three in Boxer's favor. Yeah, uh, it is. It is not fun for Blanca just as a whole. Yeah. Now the the thing is is every. Every Blanca player has this as an advantage. A lot of people don't know have, have a lot of Blanca experience because it's not a popular character. No, because we've gotten to the point now at the at this game where it's how do I say it? it's yeah. it's evolved to the point where it's sort of like melee where the the cream is it definitely at the top. Yeah, at, twenty years to do that gets the stunt combo. There we go. All right, hey, this this round is all Mad King right now. It's all Bonky. Tell Bonky, man, he's about to finish it off, and Bonky gets oh, a perfect. Oh, nice, perfect. Beautiful. All right, we got we we got a we got a nail biter here. It is yeah. two two. One of these is going home in just a few seconds. Yeah, it, definitely seconds because yeah. that's how fast this is going to go. Unless they want to uh, try to time it out. All right, see, he's he's focusing on the down back right now. Like, and if oh, you need to do the down down fierce in order to anti air to at least trade there. Ooh. Does the super, catches him out of the air, only gets two hits for his trouble. Oh, that's a free throw. Nice footsies there. there goes. Gets, gets not the head fight. bite. All right, walk. Okay. Oh, gets any air. Oh, one more, one more hit. It's over. Blanca's got super, Did but it, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh, and the he's, trade. He's trying, to, he's trying to catch... Uh, Trying to catch any dash straight, like just pulling his face. All right, so I'm going to get on the sticks right here. Somebody can get on the commentary. All right, so we've got Renegade versus Llama coming up. This is going to be this is going to be a run back from uh, Pools. Salty run back. Um, in Pools, Renegade won with, by switching to Old Ken. I wonder if he does it again. So... I'm being joined now by fellow by fellow Chicago and Miguel. How's it going, brother? How you living? Good, man. Good. It's nice to see you commentating, dude. Yes. This is <laughs> this, this is my jam. I love it. This is good. We gotta play more. We do have to play more. We gotta more. play more. I've been coming out to ignite, so we're good. Yeah. So this, so I was just talking about how Renegade and Llama were playing each other in pools. Right. And so Renegade started with Boxer. And lost, and lost with Boxer to Chun Li, and then switched to Old Ken, and proceeded to run it back. I was talking to Llama about it at, right after it happened. He thinks he choked. Renegade, Renegade thinks otherwise. So. I think I choked because against um, Renegade. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was bad. It was a blow up, to be honest. Uh, All right. But Boxer, he can literally press any buttons, man. And it's just like this run back right here. Yes. Hopefully, Llama. Does me justice and <laughs> yeah. you know what and, I mean. And, and avenges all the chun <laughs> that have lost before. See, Llama's doing it right. I played that horribly. Yeah. All right. So yeah, wait. That was good. That was so good. He missed good. the up kicks, but he still got it. So, all right. as Chun Li, what's your general strategy here against Boxer? Legs. Just, legs. Just yeah. Put so out like, legs. put out legs. He really can't do anything about that. Like once you just start throwing like. Fireballs I mean, and these legs. guys play each other all the time, so they know their play style, you know. Mm -hmm. But just like low forward legs, a lot of that. Um, the thing is, it's a race to who builds meter quicker too, because 
It's, it turns you into an arms mean? race very yeah. quickly because it's either you're going to get the 60% from Boxer Super or you're going to get the 50% from Chun Li Super. Oh, yeah. That ends up into up kicks, which ends up into the setup. And you get like a Okazemi because, like, you know, I would just probably throw Koken again or, like, scare them. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, it depends on the situation. But. Ooh, headbutts right into the yep, throw. That happens. All right, walk under, probably. And oh, that's. Ooh, that was beautiful. That was good. That, that I was didn't good do that. Escape. I should have done that. Uh, all right. <laughs> so. Just trying to zone out with normals. Just try to keep Boxer away from him. That's exactly what Lama's trying to do. Like Chun's at a good range. Like now super. That, now that Chun has super, he she can just walk forward. Exactly. And it's the fear of the fear of just super. If you press a button, is there. Exactly. So. And if you get the Boxer to be scared, you get a free throw. You know what I mean when yeah. he's like crouching. Yeah, exactly. Like, so that's good. So that's what that's exactly what Lama's game plan is right now. He's just. Oh my God. He's not trying to be oppressive. He's just trying to. He's being very defensive. And now Boxer has a super, so. That's scary, very scary situation. Yeah. But Chun could just lame it out right now. Yeah, oh, do go. that. That was good. That was there good. There you go. So, Llama goes up one <laughs> We got a Chun in the back. Yeah, we got a Chun. We got a, <laughs> we got a real life Chun. <laughs> so, all right. All right. Was it 1 0 now? It is 1 0 Llama right now. So, the question is is Renegade going to go old Ken? Like I think he is. I think He's he is. He's thinking about it. Look at, look at this. Psychic already. You know there it. You, you know he is. They play each other so much that they know each other's game plan. And and the thing is, like, Renegade knows that Lama's going to win with Chun, you know? Mm -hmm. So he has to counterpick. This is tough for Lama, though. I gave him some little tips, a little bit of strat. Okay. So. Do a lot of low forward, you know. So is it is it similar to how Chun Li wants to deal with uh, with Boxer and just, just be oppressive with zoning? Or do you want to try to be more, like, more aggressive? More aggressive because you can. You know what I mean? Because it's allowed like to be more you aggressive. can, yeah. And beautiful. He did exactly what I was telling him. Go for the throw. No, he's in a good spot. Great spot. Beautiful. Yep. Yep. All right. That's beautiful spot right there. He actually played that the way you're supposed to play that matchup. Like, just get him in the corner, do low forward. Oh, he missed a dizzy opportunity. All right. Good jumping. Great spears. spot. Oh wow! Oh, man. Wow! And since he's an old character, he can't yep. soften the throw. Exactly. Oh my God! That was crazy. Bird kick to finish off the game. Llama <laughs> going up 2-0. Wow! Jump back, spinning <laughs> bird kick. That's one of those things that you don't exactly expect to win games a lot of the time, but when it does, it's. I mean, we go right back to boxer. Renegade okay. is. You know, I'm proud of Llama. He's avenging me very, very well. <laughs> very well. <laughs> I played terribly. <laughs> okay, here we okay. go. And right there, Dizzy. The thing is, though, he did uh, light legs. You, don't, you can't do that. You can't do light legs because that's going to happen. So like, what are, like, the hitbox differences with, with between the versions of legs? Or is it just, like... For some... Okay, you know how, like, when you do legs, it's basically like a fireball. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, if you're doing light legs, um, there's a window where you can hit. You okay. know what I mean? So it's yeah. like... Oh, my Twitter handle. Who's asking me? <laughs> <laughs> Who's asking me? Oh, my Twitter? Yeah, just write it um, down. All right, so rush uppers just to try just to try to get the space back. All right, now we're now we're at the range. Oh! Wow! Wow! And Renegade, Renegade's just out of answers right now. All right, All right that's a scary through. spot. That's and scary. Another scary spot right there. Right there is just. Getting stuck. Yeah, that that's that's bad. Not a good spot to be in. Right. That's it. That's yeah, he's gonna get typical ST, you know, gimmick like. Yeah. Basically, I feel like in the game right there because he was so close to death that the, he was gonna keep doing that like a computer. You know, like how the computers can get yeah. throws. It's it's bad. It, it's BS. Yeah. So it's fair and balanced. We'll, yeah. We'll, we'll call it, we'll call it any any <laughs> shenanigans like that fair and balanced. I'll tell you right <laughs> now, in Ultra, things like that might not be happening. To yeah, because in Ultra Street Fighter 2, you're gonna be able to uh, soften those throws exactly or tech them completely. Have you seen, like, uh, it, it was hard to find footage, but from what I've seen, it looks like the advanced guard or something. Like, like when they attack. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. Because I've been, I've been waiting to see the DJ footage, but nobody oh, Yeah, no, there's DJ. no. <laughs> there's none of that. Everybody seems to play just the same ST top uh, eight. You know what yeah. I mean? Like. <laughs> All right, so, and there's. Oh, okay. up kicks to, up kicks to get him. He's doing that breaker. Yep, beautiful. And he's oh, done, he's and done. That's angels too, so that's just That's dead. rare, Dizzy. <laughs> yeah. Angels and demons, man. Those are those are your <laughs> once you see those, it's like, well, 
I know I messed up. Or if you see Death Dizzy, you know he really messed up. Like yeah. the Death Dizzy. Okay. All right, just keeping him out. It's exactly Ooh, okay. jumps over and okay. right, tries to walk under, but now corners himself. Nice up kicks. All right, so. Okay, yeah, going. he's got the meter. All right, we walk under, we walk. If he's feeling there. really ballsy, he'll throw a super out right there, but it's hard because he's got the advantage. Like, Boxer can just literally. He presses buttons better than Chun presses buttons. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, uh, it's, there's too much. It's crazy. Yeah. So we're at 2-2 two, two now. This is, ooh, this is tense. This is it. This is it. I can see it. I can see it. But llama has got this. Now, now the question is, is if Renegade Avengers himself, does he <laughs> pop off? He better <laughs> pop off. He's the Chun killer of the day if, yeah. he, if he beats uh, Llama. I'm going to be salty about that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, nice. Now oh, nice. Okay. Thrown, softens the throw. Good. All right. He just needs to throw, but there he got is. to throw quicker. He got to throw. So, who has a who has a bigger throw range, Boxer or Chun? I feel like Chun does, but here's the thing, though. Boxer seems like even when I was playing him, he was ticking me out of my own throws. So I'm like, I feel like Chun has, when it comes to a Claw, Boxer, uh, those characters, she loses. I don't know. It's it's really weird, but like. As you can see, like he always gets the throw. She can't out throw him. Yeah. You gotta like hail mary it. Ooh, and there yeah, it is. Yeah, there it is. That's the match. And He's the chun killer of the day. Renegade. I don't feel so bad about losing to him. He stepped his game up. Yeah. Oh, All arcade right. legacy. Mad King and Arc Villain. All right, so Mad, Mad, Mad King, King, the flexor, the, the flexor. Flexor. <laughs> He's popping off. I need our shot to win this because he's the last from our team, like yes, in Chicago. He's, he's, he's the, the last, last of the Chicago players. Like, it's, so nothing against have, Michigan, you know. No, it's <laughs> Mad King and Arch Villain coming up. Mad King and Arch Villain. All right, so. Okay. We we're, we're expecting Boxer and Dictator. Ironically. So Mad King, former Boxer, yep, or former Dictator yep. player, switched to Boxer. He was, uh, yeah, he played box, uh, Dictator forever. Like I remember, As long as I've known him, yeah, which has been about. Yeah. It's been about six or seven years yeah. that I've known him, so. I remember uh, Season's Beatings, I played him high stakes, and he sent me to losers, and then I got my revenge on him after that in the losers bracket, but yeah, man. He's now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've ever played him in Super Turbo in a tournament. Oh, I he have, pops off. <laughs> I've played I've played him in other games in tournaments. Okay. I, I played him in Street Fighter 4 okay. tournament, which ironically is also the same matchup that we would have played in Super Turbo because it was <laughs> Dictator versus DJ. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we both played the same characters. Except you had a disadvantage. Yeah. Like in ST, DJ is so good, man. Exactly. It's amazing. But now, so going into going back to ST, oh, gets thrown for his, Arshad gets thrown for his, for his Psycho Crusher, that's what I was trying to say. That's been the killer of the day, man, those yeah. boxer setups. So, there you go. Okay, okay. So, scissor kick. I was expecting another throw right there. Yeah. There's another yep. throw. It's All scary right. to throw him because you never know. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Okay, Ooh. that was a good one. That was a good low forward. That is very, very good. And Arshad takes round one. So. Like Arshad really needs to avenge Chicago right now, really. All of Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> because he's, yeah. he is the lone survivor. That's it. All right, does it cross up? It does cross up, but he gets standing fierce punished for it. All right, walk forwards. Standing media kick such a good button. Yeah. Like it is. just in neutral. It's and he's forced. What he's doing is he's forcing Mad King to play very passively exactly. and very defensively, which is the complete antithesis and the exact opposite of what he wants to do. That doesn't punish because. Oh, the throw. He went for a throw right there. Yeah. Supers in this game are generally safe. Yeah. I can't think of any that are punishable. Uh, you know, like bad characters, like Blanca, yeah, like, like Blanca and Honda and stuff like that. <laughs> but we don't talk about those characters anyway, so yeah. they don't use super. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we especially don't talk about those characters when people that play those characters are around because then they'll start feeling bad. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're waiting for Ultra to come out. They retired from this. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, he needs this. He needs this mix-up oh, right man, here. He, he needs, needs this. Throw him, throw him. Yeah, I knew it. He had to go for that. He had to. So what I was act what I was actually expecting in that sequence there was when he got that knockdown. I was actually expecting head stomp. So the fact that he mixed me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a it was a good mix up. It was. I was expecting um, either that or just a typical like cross up, you know, block yeah. string or something like. So I mean, as a generality though, you do, like I was telling Renegade earlier, you generally don't want to be crossing boxer up because of his hit, because of his block animation. Exactly. Exactly. So you'll end up getting thrown more time. You'll end up getting thrown more times than not. Like, and that's the thing about ST. It's like if your timing is a tad bit off, it's your opponent's gonna have the advantage. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, it's no longer your turn. All right. Okay. Good. Just scissor kick into. Oh, he's ready to kill it. 
Yeah. I like this. Okay. And since he didn't have enough health attack to throw, he just died for it. All right, down back fighter four, or down back fighter two. Yeah, all right. <laughs> down back fighter two. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's, that's how that round started. All right. Good reversal scissor kick. He's hitting his reversal timing yeah, really he's well. Uh, Our God's playing pretty good. Yeah, he is. All right. He tried to throw there, but he, he didn't get it. He was too far away. Ooh, okay. He's got super. Yeah. Oh, okay. And That's so Mad, Mad King is on to that setup now, like with, right, with right. medium kick scissor kicks to um to, into the throw. So he's going to headbutt after the medium kick scissor kick. Okay. Wow. Perfect so, headbutt there. There you go. Okay. All right. So, walk in. See counter thrown yep. out. So he he's cool. He's cool to that game. Oh my God. All right. Super. Okay. It's okay. All right. Nope. He was expecting some other different oh, aggression. Oh man. Okay. All right. Mad King's popping off. <laughs> <laughs> Mad King's being Mad King. He's popping off. One and one. All right. So, we don't expect we don't expect any character switches from here on out. No. Right? Yeah. No. There's no reason for our shot to pick anybody. But no. He's a dictator. Main. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I remember in the HD Remix days, he actually played uh, Guile. Okay, okay. So. I mean, he'll mess around with some characters, but Dictator is like his real, you know, mm -hmm. he means business. Yeah. Man, his headbutts are really on point. Exactly, because I, well, I mean, you sort of figure those kind of things out when you play a character for so long, and then you don't play that character Oh, anymore. he pressed the button accidentally. He pressed the button. I saw the low forward. Oh, no. But yeah, so if you play a character for a certain certain amount of time, you start start figuring out the tendencies of what that character wants to do. Right. And so, wow. Good standing short uh, pressure. And so, okay. Um, I you know I lost a, I lost the point of what I was going <laughs> to say, but because Boxer decided oh, he man. wanted to be a bully and took his entire health bar in. The span of about That's a heartbreaker seconds. right there. That yeah. was a heartbreaker because that could have been like a uh, psycho crusher or something, Any you know? Psycho crusher. Yeah. And if you if you had some bravado, you could have even done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So oh, no. he had options. He just was okay. Was afraid of the bullying. Right. Boxer's scary. <laughs> exactly. Well, but dictator's scary too. He's got the touch of death and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So all right. All right. Went for the okey. Yep. Throw. He's went for the throw. He did go for the throw, but since he jumped back, he got standing medium punch yep. instead. All right, super it's a little auto mix up there. <laughs> exactly. A little option select. And since the hitbox of it is like a tiny bit wider, he catch it's most people on jump startup frames. Exactly. That's actually the chun thing to do, the medium punch. Yeah. It's, a, it's like an option select. Mm -hmm. You get a throw, you get another medium punch or whatever. Like. Exactly. All right, Psycho Crusher crosses up. Or oh, actually didn't cross up. It just went okay. through. Our shot's got the momentum. Yep. Ooh, standing or jumping. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. He's got to chill. He's got to chill. All right. Nah. Yeah. He kind of yeah. uh, he kind he kind of should have chilled on that round because like he had the health you know the health lead. Well, I mean, it, he did up until the moment where he got <laughs> punched in the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's ST, man. It's that yeah. quick. It's exactly. that quick. It's just damage scaling really isn't a thing. No, it really isn't. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Okay. What was that low forward? Yeah. Or? That was low forward. Out, to beat out scissor kick? I didn't know that that worked like that sometimes. All right. Get the throw. That's what he was going for. He definitely was going for that. And it's actually good for him that he was able to, he was forced to juggle out of that. All right. He needs to, yeah. There you yeah. go. All right, okay. we're at 2-2. Two, two. Two, All right. Two. This shit's real now. It's, it's awesome. This is, we're going right down to the wire with, with two people that are just, Swinging, they're, they're with just two people that are a lake away. It's Michigan's, <laughs> Michigan's finest versus Chicago's finest. Yep, the, the last hopes of each of our respective states. <laughs> Battle of the lake. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, good scissor kick. The no cross or the no mix up, mix up, just jumping. jumping oh, I like forward. that. Okay. All right, jump heavy. Right. Oh, it, so okay. now that. Now that Mad King is hip to the game. Ooh, okay. Of course, that was the ballsy. The that second was that I said that, <laughs> he gets hit by the throw. Because <laughs> I was going to ask, now that, our, now that Mad King is hip to the game, what do you do in that neutral situation? Right. But I guess you just keep doing it and just hope he messes <laughs> up and doesn't get the reversal throw. Honestly, you got to go for it. ST is one of those games where you got to just Hail Mary it out, you know? Yeah. Like, especially if you're behind. You, there's no fear. You got to have no fear. So. Oh, man, this is it. All right. 
Oh, wow. That was, that was ST, interesting. ST uh, gimmicks. Yeah. Okay, oh. okay. He, I noticed that he, he's always landed that when he hits, you know, when he does that? Yeah. It's like Mad King's afraid of it or something. All right. Okay. So okay. Scissor kick, it gets thrown, gets a reversal throw. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. It's okay, he wasted his meter, that's what he needs. No. I don't know about that, but. I, I don't agree with He's going for the throw. He's going for the throw. And that's what it was, yeah. Oh, man, that was bad. And our shot is not happy. Uh. You, you, that's it. That's it for Chicago. Here to thunk of the ground. Mad King popping off. So it's next up is Renegade and Atari. Okay. So. All right, Renegade and Atari. The run so back. More, more boxer, more boxer goodness. I think actually, if I'm looking at this, boxer is our most represented character. Um, let me just look. So Renegade plays boxer. Mad King plays boxer. Or Bizzle. He plays everything, but he plays a really good boxer, though. That's, like, we'll one of probably, his mains. Yeah. At some point, we'll play boxer. Definitely. Um, if he has to. If he has to. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's... Actually, no, I think he played boxer against... Uh, no, he played... Yeah, he played boxer against Arshad. So... Yeah, that's right. He did. Yeah. All right. And I know that Atari is in the process of switching to boxer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He, he, was play, he played against uh, Immortal, actually, the last round. He, yeah. Um, well, once once the uh, once he realized, which should have been from the word go, that Guile was not going to have a good time against uh, Claw. I All mean, right. like, I feel like on paper it sounds okay because he could flash kick his whatever you know stuff that Claw can do, but it's not as easy. Like, it's not like that at all because Claw can slide. He's just better, like, mm -hmm. designed to kill him. So now looking at this matchup, Guile versus Boxer. What is the what is the boxer game, or the Guile game plan? That's the thing. It's tough. It's like he has to just chill and be a real turtle about it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like just chuck fireballs. And you, in. you have to be able to react really well to exactly that. Because if you don't, that's gonna happen. Exactly I'm telling you, like boxer. That's happen. Yeah. This matchup is tough for Guile. It really is. Mm -hmm. Because he doesn't have he doesn't have oppressive normals like some of the other members of the cast do that have similar play styles. I feel like he can't really handle the pressure too. Like you know what I mean? Like he can stop him with like low forward and stuff like that. But once Boxer's in, oh man, look like that. Exactly. Have a field day. And Renegade like, goes up one zero very quickly. Man, Renegade's like really hot this tournament. He's like ready to kill. Like yeah, he is. He must have drove a lot of hours. He's pissed. <laughs> He's very yeah. He must be. He must be angry. <laughs> so he's he's coming. All right, All right, so going back into it, just goes right for the goes right for the round start rush up or the throw, but doesn't get the throw because Atari decided not to do oh. anything at the start of the round. All right. Oh, nice. Okay. There you go. That's exactly what Atari should be doing. He's yep. trying to find ways to generate space. So, what I didn't like was how he walked forward towards him after he threw him. Right. Right. So. Now, oh. now at this point, he should have just been running for the hills because he has a life lead, and. There That's it, go. yeah. That's like, he was in a good spot. Anti-air low forward. Yeah, he was Somehow, in a good spot. Like. Somehow, anti-air low forward. <laughs> <laughs> Have, Works. Yeah, like. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, exactly this. Generate your space. Um, try to try okay. to maintain as much as much of the stage as possible. So try to, try to find a way to stay at center screen so that you have room to move in either direction. Right, right. Uh, so that you can throw booms and just good. be oppressive. That's okay. good punish since Guile didn't have down charge. Right. So, and with that, Atari goes up, or right. ties it up. Ties it up. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. One, one. All right. So. Team Canada, let's do it. All right. We have no reason to switch from. No. Because that, that was just a, a small series of unfortunate events. <laughs> it's boxer, happen. you know. But I mean, boxer doing boxer things. Bo <laughs> Pressing buttons. <laughs> All right. So now, now this is what we. This is what you were talking about before, where they just, where he has to just lame it out. No, really, he has to. There's really nothing he could do. He's he gonna get out. Yes. Yeah. But he did. He, he, at that point, no. But you know what I mean. Like he could have done something. Like in between the. In between or it, yeah. In between the last two hits. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. But it's it's kind of scary to try it. You know what I mean? Because it's like it is tournament, and it's like, do you want to go for that? I mean, he barely has any life left. Yeah. So. 
one of the things that I do like that he's doing is that he's actually contesting some of the forward movement from uh, Renegade Atari is. And so, um, so when you see him try to jump over booms, he's walking forward and doing like uh, Sobat or um, Crux Fierce or Forward right. Fierce or something. He's just, he's not letting him take all of the space. Like, and he shouldn't because he's Boxer will take any little thing he can to take advantage of you it. Give, like, you give Boxer an inch, he will take a mile. Literally, literally. So, okay, that now, was a quick round. That was and, quick. And now Renegade is up 2-1. So, okay. Again, okay. Boxer. do we switch characters? Probably not. No. Unless he wanted to do a mirror match. <laughs> Which, <laughs> Which is, is, not, not, yeah. is not beyond the realm of possibility. Oh, but it'd be such an ugly match. <laughs> well, yeah, you'd have, it'd be such an ugly match because you'd have a more experienced yeah. a more experienced boxer playing against somebody Ooh. that's just learning him. He missed, that, the, he missed the combo opportunity right there. Yeah. But he's in a good spot. He's in a very good spot. Yeah, with a giant life lead. He could lame that out the whole match. Reverse the super. Uh, lame it if, out. If you would have reversed the super, it would have Oh, that would have been, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Atari needs to chill because he's getting easy. Okay. Okay, that's good. Flash kick, flash kick. Yeah, he missed the flash kick opportunity right there. Yeah. It's crazy how quickly uh, Renegade came back on that. Like, he was literally perfecting him, you know? Yeah. Like, Atari. So, I mean, that's, that's one of the things about Boxer is that he'll just, he'll, once he gets the advantage, yep. he will do everything in his power to not give it up. You're losing at least like 40% damage, you know yeah. what I mean? Like Yeah, and especially if there's a super involved, then you're oh, yeah. closer to 60, and so you just need to make sure that you have that kind of lead so that... You've seen those memes, the boxer memes, where yeah. he's faster than a train? Exactly. I don't know if you see, there's like memes about like literally how quick he is. He beats a bullet train, an airplane. It, it's literally boxer's animation, ST animation like that. Of just it's, Rush Upper? Yeah, it's, I'll show you if you ever seen it. It's pretty funny. I think I have. Yeah, it, it shows like the miles per hour, and yeah. boxer's just ridiculous, like a million miles per hour. It's, it's unseeable go. sometimes. It really is. Oh, he. Okay. He beat out Rush Upper with um, Crouching Strong. That, yeah. With a mini Crouching Strong. Well, I guess it makes sense because there's no iframes on it. Yeah. No vulnerability on oh, it. Oh, wow. He's super right through that fireball. And it, you know what? To do that, like, I don't know. Boxer could do it. Oh, that was it. That was it. Yep, that's it. Oh, man. So we got now Renegade and Mad King. Two boxers? Two boxers. <laughs> so. This is a boxer tournament. <laughs> it is a very boxer tournament. Except your pool was like the, the land of the Chun Li's. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> mine, I, mine was the land of the boxers and the and the claws, because both. The, uh, no, Renegade came from your pool. Yeah. And uh, Mad King came from mine. Yeah, I fought him to get into top eight. Actually, he was the one that got me in for. Uh, that that knocked you out. Yeah, last round. Um, oh my God, this is gonna be gross. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be. So. Do oh, I need no. to, Do I need to even ask what? what the matchup strategy is going to be. Ma the matchup strategy is this. That's it's, it. It's just, <laughs> it's just two bullet trains. Two just, bullet trains going at it. Yeah, it's, it's just two trains fighting. <laughs> Literally, they're going to tick, tr tick throw each other is what they're going to do. Like, It's whoever gets whoever gets the throw first will, will win out. And then it's... Okay. And he's probably going to go for a, another one. Yep. There you go. Wow. The confirm. You saw that jab into the rush? Boxer's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Fair and balanced. Fair and balanced. <laughs> what is this, like 5-5? Five, five? <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Although, if we're going to actually do matchups on this, Mad King wins this matchup because he's got a better color. Okay. I like, okay, I'll I give like you that. This, I like this color more than I'll the ugly that. green plus. Yeah, it is pretty. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's, it's all matchup ugly. I can't even watch this anymore. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like... They're just going to bully each other, and they're just going to be slugging it out. It's exactly what it is. Two heavyweight literally, boxers. Literally. Two heavyweight boxers just fighting like a slugfest. All okay. Right, and we're just mix-up city, tap, wow. low rush, stand fierce. Okay. And now and now it's Mad King's turn. Right. So. Yeah, well, he's going to chip him that's out. That's chipping out. No. no. Surprisingly not. That's weird. So, Boxer's Super does 8% chip. It has to have all of the hits hit. The first hit of that miss. It whiffed, yeah. Yeah, so yep. the first hit of that miss to generate the space to get in. But, in any event, Renegade goes up 1-0. So. I definitely feel like Renegade's got the advantage. Just all, all together, the whole tournament. Like, he's yeah. just he's well, ready he, to kill. He, like. he is a man on a mission. Yeah, he really is. He is. <laughs> he is that drive must have been one drive. Yeah, right? <laughs> one heck of a drive. Oh, meaty tap. Wasn't ready for that to happen. 
Okay. All right. Got try house. Little okay. sweep. Now. Wow, All that right. was that was very fast. Very fast. Like before, I could even gather my thoughts. No, really, what I really, to do, really. What I want to say. All right, and we're almost essentially back in the same situation as we were at the start of the last round. All right, so good headbutt, <laughs> and we just we more or less are about to go coast to coast because we were pretty close to the first corner. Now we're yep. getting pretty close to the other corner. It's literally like a flashback of what Renegade's match was. It's like it's the other way around now. Yeah. It's like Mad King's doing it. Oh, this matchup is crazy. Yeah. It's, it's super it's super scary because once you get a life lead, you don't want to relinquish exactly. it. Exactly. And now it's tied up 1-1. Okay, 1-1. One, one. All right. Yep. Mac, he's getting his drink. He's getting his, <laughs> he's getting his flex on. He's getting on. his that's, drink. <laughs> that's what he's doing. He's and powering up is what he's doing. Secret tech right there. Secret tech. Something's yeah. in that water. Got to be something in the water. Oh, I like that color. He changed it to a good color, actually. Oh, that's a uh, sushi's color, like that's uh, also, Japanese player. That's also the more or less the reverse because it's black gloves, red. red I like uh, it. Outfit. It's like Chicago, very Chicago Bulls, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I dig it. It's good. I like it. It's actually uh, alternate his color because it's exactly. red and black. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, and okay. while we're while we're having the color discussion, Mad King's about to win the round. No, no, it's, it's oh. that quickly turn around. Oh. Still. Wow. I actually thought that headbutt killed. I thought so too. I, I was surprised that he got back up from that. I thought they were literally going to just hit each other at the end right there. Like just, just rush. Double KO? Double KO that. That would be awesome. I'll take my chances. <laughs> oh, gets the jump roundhouse, but gets thrown for his, for his troubles. Okay, that was a good headbutt. Headbutt. All right. Now we're just starting to pressure. It's literally a matchup of testing each other's buttons. It's like whoever messes up first. You know what I mean? It's, the opening. Get the opening. You know what? It, you know what it reminds me of? Any match of Hooked on a Ken. That like, game is it, awesome. <laughs> like instead of instead of like round one, whatever, it basically should just say survive the match opener. <laughs> and that's exactly how this how this how this matchup so works Mad out. So Mad King won that one. Mad King's up two okay. one now. Yeah. So something's in that water. Yeah. Renegade didn't survive the match opener. <laughs> so. I think he picked the wrong color. Yeah. I think he's just he's just, he's just mashing through the colors. <laughs> He just want to go through. He wants to go through the entire color wheel. Okay. All right. Okay. Ooh, dizzy. Does he? Is he gonna kill? He misses. He missed it. Missed it. But I don't know. I feel like Renegade was going for like a, a throw, maybe a setup, because it, it looked like he kept walking forward, just getting hit by every. It didn't, nothing comboed. It was yeah. just like getting hit. Just getting slugged out. Punch, punch, punch. It's all punch. Look at that. Back and forth. Yep. Back and forth trades. Right. They're so quick, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And the and the crazy thing too is that all of these brush punches are all plus or zero. So it's like, well, you block this. Yeah, wow. You're gonna do anything about wow, it? Wow, that was quick. And Mad Kings. Wow. Mad Kings in losers finals. Okay. All right. Mad King stepped this game up. <laughs> so now we're gonna have Immortal and Roy Bizzle. Was that winners finals? That's gonna be winners finals. Okay. All right. All right. So they're coming up now. We got a classic Midwestern uh, finals. Okay. All right. So looks like Roy Bizzle's going to be on. Uh, Roy, it looks like Roy Bizzle's going to be on player one side, and Immortal's going to be on player two. Okay. Um. Both very, they know each other's matchups very yeah, well. These guys so play each other all the time. Like yes, they're literally they know what's up. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna step up here okay. since Renegade just got knocked out. So okay, I'll, I'm gonna let okay. you go. All right, good, good commentary, good man. <laughs> all right, <laughs> dude, you're ready to kill, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, this was a boxer tournament, like. Literally, uh, you are ready to kill. Like. All right, so here's the thing. Boxer has a safe jump after his throw on himself. <laughs> so when he gets the headbutt, he has a safe jump on himself where oh, he can't no. reversal. So he has to block high. And then you tick into another headbutt. So it right. loops on itself. So it's really stupid. Oh, my what God. he was doing was he was taking that hit. And then, and then getting the throw, And right? getting the throw. Yeah, yeah. But if you guys didn't notice, I, I started doing fierces 
to like combo. Right. And he was getting me with the fierce, but he was still throwing me instead because I was mistiming oh, man. The, the thing after it. That, that that fight is really stupid. And the thing is, it is a really it's uh, silly. It's and he was he was he hit me like I think his super he hit me with like three supers, <laughs> um, and. I think I was more effective with my normals and being able to shut them down. Uh, I think so too. Away, but uh, you know, it's it, it is what it is. I didn't expect to do this well, and you know, that's, you did very well, man. That's good. You did really well. All right, so here, here we go. Um, <laughs> we're out. Out. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so, so we have Immortal versus Roy Brizzle. Immortal is the the Vega on second player side, and Roy is the, the boxer. Oh, flip kick. Yep. So okay, here. now. Uh, he did oh, he was, I think he was trying to go for a throw right there. Yeah. Okay. So what you want to do in this fight a lot is that Boxer can really establish the, the pace and with his normals and getting him into those kind of traps. Exactly. exactly. Vega cannot duck Boxer's straight uh, fierce, which is just a dominating poke. Um, although Vegas are a lot, claws are a lot faster. Way faster. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we just basically got some, some neutral trying to feel each other out. Gets with a with a reversal Ooh, headbutt. Okay, that was Locked nice. reversal. The taps are really good. The Cannot, they do not whiff. Okay. Anytime uh, Vega goes off the wall, Boxer can get a, a fierce headbutt to get away, which makes this kind of an even fight. Ooh, ooh, ooh he tried to clip the other him, and he did. Way. Went for the throw. Oh, punishes it with a straight fierce. Okay. And Frank takes the all first right, Very game. convincingly. Yeah, it's, it's kind of how you do it. These guys know each other. They play all the time. Yeah, they play <laughs> all the time. They don't. They don't. Uh, so so what, this is uh, winner's finals, right? Winners yeah, this finals. Is winner's okay. finals. Okay. Three out of five. Franks okay. take the first game. All right. Oh, all right. yep. He, want, he wants to kill. Yeah. Immortal wants to go for that throw. Yeah. Here so, comes the Oki. Okay. Claw, claw roll is safe on block. Does chip. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Goes. that was bad. He tried yeah. to escape. He tried to escape that. So, boxers dash low upper. So, there's actually a difference. If you do the straight upper, when you go back to forward, is the high uppercut. Okay. The low upper is to down forward. So, it's the low uppercut. Oh, I know about the, that. You're getting me with that pretty well. The, the <laughs> In low, the corner. Yeah, the low uppercut is ha has less vulnerability, but a, le a less big hitbox and it recovers really fast so typically you'll see boxers do that when they want to whiff a move into a throw okay gets him with the fist gonna go for the chip tap, and goes for this chip but brett knew oh that though man. brett knew that avoids it see if he gets it Ooh, that was beautiful that was way. a good escape that was a little good i like that yeah but it's one of those lose-lose situations yeah yeah because then it's like now you're come back he's really after him like his it's, a, it's because frank didn't commit to a heavier move on right. wake up he just did the jab jab and that's actually the jab jab is is uh, the jab jab is good because you can connect it to a low rush right or yeah you can do jab jab low rush or you can do jab jab throw or okay. jab jab on block and then do headbutt so they have to basically guess to either try to reversal throw you reversal or or get thrown okay um, so it's a pretty effective mix up and compounded by the fact that Boxer's jab headbutt has one of the most invincibility frames in the game, so oh, it beats man. almost every reversal except for Old and, Re old and Ryu and Ken. Right. All right, here we go. Uh, just establishing, you know, some neutral game. Does the Got little in the corner. stuff. Goes okay, goes lost in. his claw. That's actually a pretty big deal. Oh, <laughs> Very big deal. Up. Wow, without the claw. Yeah, yeah. Without the claw. The naked he doesn't need a dive. claw. Okay, got All the right. slide. So, got it, got some some neutral here. Oh, combos the jab into the low Ooh, rush. Oh, I'll throw him. See that that low forward is, is so has so much priority. It yeah, it's really a lot good. of Vegas low moves. And he's probably gonna go for the chip. Yep, yep. Just go straight jab, yep. jab, super. Nothing he could have done about it. Nope. All right, one, one. All right. Oh, he's he's really aggressive. Yeah. He's he's really aggressive. He's got Frank, it. He's got Frank it. is always aggressive. And the thing is, is when you get a really aggressive ball ball rug, they're building up that meter. Ooh, but now see, but Brent's turning it around. Going to the U ball. Okay, I like that. 
Yep, oh, yep, I knew it. Wow. I knew, once he was ready, he was there. He was there. He, he, decided he wanted to, to throw. He just fakes it and then goes All right. for the throw. Brent's not going to go out without a fight. Yeah, he puts it on the board. All right. We're going to Jamaica, man. <laughs> All right. So here we go. See, that low forward is at that far range, the stuff, uh, the, the slide and possibly low straws. Effective push out there. They're both playing really safe. Yeah. Low rush is positive on block, so a lot of that stuff after low rush is guaranteed. I know it doesn't make sense, but... <laughs> All right, got the and, stun, yep. and oh, misses the combo there, but it doesn't matter. It. Yeah, he matter. manages to punish the escape there, which is what he yep. was working on recently. Because Barra can get away, but in certain circumstances, Vega can still punish him for getting away. Ooh, okay, flip All kick, right, nice. Takes the two. And here comes the Okazemi. Yep. Okay, so they're just chilling. They're, oh, th that, that was a kind of a bait to go yeah, into the corner there. Yeah, that was a bait. Oh, he did it again, but went far that time because he thought Frank would do something different. Claws in the best spot he could be in yeah. right now. Heck really of a good light spot. lead. Oh, he went for the throw, but the uh, thing about throwing boxer is it's ooh. hard. It's it's tricky. Yeah. Get, and just like that. Ch oh, wow, wow. Wow. Oh. See, that's how you know they play each other a lot. That yeah. was some Circus Soleil stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, catches no, just yeah, with that the was, back. Wow. All right, okay. that low rush there. Oh, nice. Headbutt. He countered the, the, the counter throw attempt. He went for a throw. Yep. Nice, just nice. Too fast. Catches with that back shoulder again. Wow, Let's chip him out. Very convincing. All right, yeah. that's 3-1 to three, Frank. One. And, a, and a, an immortal stays on, and he, he plays the boxer that defeated me. Got a lot of boxer. A lot of boxer this tournament. I, I'm All of them were good too. Surprisingly, like you guys came out of nowhere. <laughs> I, I'm I'm sorry. I had to I had to send these chums home. Robin, you stepped your game up, man. I'll tell you right now, like, you really did. And but, that match you. against Llama, I was like, <laughs> wow, like you really got chun down. Like, um, yeah. it was good, man. It was good. It's a good match. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I he told me later that he he doesn't mash out of throws because it sometimes hurts his hand. And, oh, and you use that advantage. <laughs> no, no, I didn't know that. I felt like crap. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you like, said it good. <laughs> like, you know, I'm glad I didn't know at the time because, I mean, I, you just got to play 100%. But I was telling him, like, you know, afterwards, I was like, maybe you should get some different buttons that are easier to mash. Yeah. Or like the old Marvel technique where they would get, wear the glove and then <laughs> the just go like thing. this. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I mean, as y'all know, like when you mash, you can mash out repeated hit, like holds in this game. And I've seen people mash out in one or two hits. Now, yeah, yeah, you can, you can. The majority of the damage is done on just the successful grab itself. But right. You don't want to. Every hit is like another three to four percent damage. Here's another run back of Boxer Claw. Yep. <laughs> I hope you guys aren't tired of this. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, Matt King with the gray box. <laughs> um, I mean, it's 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 more entertaining than a, than old Sagat mirrors. It's more entertaining than boxer boxer. Yeah. That was pretty brutal. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about it. All right. So, uh, establishing that slide range. Uh, you can always already see that Matt King's a lot less aggressive. Than yeah, you got to be aggressive. You got to. Yeah. The thing is, Brent's got really good boxer experience, and I think yeah. I really think Frank's the best boxer in the Midwest. So it's yeah. like you gotta, you know, he's gotta step his game up, be yep. more aggressive. This is a really bad situation to be in. Yeah, that's yeah. a perfect on round yeah. one. Yeah. Just using the advantage of uh, Vegas' speed and his claw, and yep. and all all that sort of stuff. See, I, I was Vegas always tell me they like the boxer matchup because they don't have, they can't really rely on the gimmicks. They have to kind of rely on so solid stuff in order to win. Right. But he's going off the wall and he got punished for it that time. Yeah, he got punished. He's gonna do it again. Yeah. Oh, who's gonna drop? Oh. Okay. Is that, is that a correct? I, I don't know what that was. Yeah. I don't know what that. <laughs> yeah, catches him in the back of the head. Okay. It's also kind of a, a limiting thing because uh, so. The Vega know. knows if, if Boxer does headbutt, uh, that, that limits on the, how much Vega can go into the front of Boxer when he's doing wall dives. Right. Uh, because if he goes to the back and, and Balrog goes away, then he, he just, everything's at neutral. Right. 
Ooh, right. Okay. Okay. Any nice air. headbutt. Yep. Headbutt's pretty good in here. I, I like the fist sweep uh, better because they do more damage. But oh wow, oh, stand oh. jab, Street Fighter Five tactics. Yeah. Okay. He lost his claw, but he doesn't care. Yeah. He I think he's going for the throw. Yep. Yeah. I, I get, see, it's when Brent goes for it, he goes for it. And I respect that because yeah, he, he you're just, gonna get it. He like, just goes in. He's very, yeah. very aggressive against this character. You have to I be. Like it. All right. But you see the difference in the match, like yeah. how aggressive uh, Frank is compared to Mad King. And 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 that's and I'm not and there's a lot of different ways to play this character, right? But the more aggressive you are, the more meter you get, and then the more you have, the most threatening super in the game. Exactly. See, right now he's about dead, and he still hasn't built up the super. Nothing. Yeah. He's got it now. He's got to scare him with that. So, but yep. that that move is actually really hard to react to. It is. It's insane. It's actually a good Chun Li uh, killer. Yeah. It's, um, it just blows her up like. Immortal goes up to zero. Immortal steaming from the last fight. He wants to oh, fight. Oh, Matt King switches Ooh. over to okay, throwback. Dictator. Okay. Maybe he'll be more aggressive this time. Mm -hmm. I don't know how this match really goes. I haven't seen it too much. It's a silly matchup. It's, yeah. it's silly. I mean, it's pretty much his only hope to get the touch of death because... Yeah, he needs it. Got the Marvel juggles. Yeah. Because if he, if he gets the wall dives going, it could be game over. Yeah. All right. Wow. See, like, that's very, very good command of Vegas normals. Wow. He tried to anti-air it. Uh, he's going super. for the early wall dive. So what Brent was trying to go for there, you see him spread his spread his yeah. arms out early. He was thinking uh, Mad King would go to challenge him with the jump strong. No, so Mad King was too that. busy trying to throw out super. Yeah, <laughs> and it worked. Yeah, yeah, it worked. Wow, oh, this done. What Touches is that it? No, nope. misses it. He probably should have jumped, come in with forward there, but okay, ooh, shenanigans. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what what uh, Immortal was trying to do there, but yeah. that would have not chipped him out. Yeah, it managed, wouldn't have. It wouldn't have. Managed to take it. I, I'm, I'm completely okay. shocked. Yeah, it's okay. Good choice, maybe. I don't know. Do you think? See how that goes. Do you think Immortal's gonna go more wall diving? I think so. Can he get more wall Definitely. diving? Definitely. He's gonna change it up. All right. Yep. See, that see, was the first thing he first did. Thing, yep. He's going yep. to the wall. Yep. You have to. You have to. <laughs> yep. Here this it comes. Was, he's going for the dirty, dirty. Here it comes. Oh yeah, the dirty, dirty. <laughs> Oh, the dirty the with dirty. side. The dirty, dirty. <laughs> He's going for the throw. Uh, dirty, dirty. <laughs> yep. Oh, dirty was, Vega. He went like Mao. Evo. This is Evo all over again. <laughs> Mao. Yo. <laughs> All right. Okay. So he's he's doing those jump strongs as a, a preliminary defense against wall dives because they work. They have really good air to air priority. Uh, he just can't get knocked down like this. He's going off the wall. Wow. There's That's a dirty. One. Oh, blocks the second one. Nice. Oh, he went for something there. Okay. He's back in business. New lease on life whenever you block a wall dive. <laughs> oh, nice. that beat that clean. Throw. And throw. Yep. Solid performance yep. by Brent. Wow, that was good. Cheese face immortal. Cheese face. All right. Salty run back. Salty run back. We got, <laughs> we got the grand finals. All right, grand finals. Who would have thought? Brent versus Immortal, uh, Immortal versus Who Roy Bizzle. <laughs> he would have guess? guessed. <laughs> so. Okay. All right. So we'll see if we'll, we'll probably see the same matchup. Uh, you know, I can't see. Uh, Frank picking. <laughs> All right, they're going straight for it. Oh, he's Same going classic Ryu. Kasumando. Button test? No. Yeah, <laughs> Kasumando. Uh, is this a button check? Yeah, yeah, yeah. an extensive button check. Uh, yeah, so I can't see him using his other characters. Um, Dalsum has, I mean, it's not like a it's a bad matchup versus Claw, but it's not that it's bad. It's that they play each other so much. You know what I mean? It's just like yeah. But uh, of the matches that Dalsum wants to fight, if Claw is not one of them, exactly. Claw and Chun is not one of those fights. Nope. All right. So here we go back into Bison Balrog. I think another reason, uh, a thing that that Frank is doing is the use of the low medium to stuff uh, Balrog's poke. Really good. Bar, it's really really good. Yeah. 
Okay. That's a, that's an effective. I noticed that wall dive. Immortal changes game plan a lot. He wasn't going for wall dives at first. Yeah. Now he's really aggressive about it. He was confident Frank was going to be able to get away. Ooh. Oh, he's just going. Okay. Uh, see, see, he, he risked going in the front that time. Then he got hit for it. Okay. Uh, lost the claw. Lost the claw. He's going to get meter. Yeah. Now he has meter. Yeah. Now it's pretty scary. Okay. Does it? It's kind of kind of playing keep away. Yeah, after the low, the the low rush, Vega's low strong pretty much beats anything that yeah boxer will want to do. Oh, Ooh, oh too late, too late. Oh, he goes for the throw. He doesn't get it. Although, okay, I'm not sure if he. Oh wow, he just uh, threw it out. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if he really went for the throw because he got Stan Fears. Normally, yeah, I think I think he was trying to go for it. Though. When a boxer goes for a throw, they want to use medium because medium actually has more range than Fierce. Uh, little facts about boxer: the exact <laughs> same throw, but his medium punch throw has more range. Okay, and is a better OS because you just get a medium out, and exactly. that medium anti airs. It's, yeah, it's fair. It's good. It's very good. fair. All right, so they're just kind of. Going out there, Frank's just talking out, passing out those low mediums. Man, Boxer just got those throws. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Get that okay. autocorrect low rush wow. upper is so good. Is he going to okay. lame him out with super? Uh, kinda any yes, uh, he is. Yeah, he did it. I think Frank wanted it, or uh, Immortal wanted to go off the wall or something to counter. Oh, man. So, okay. Frank takes, takes game one. Somebody's promoting something there? Yeah, something. <laughs> roid rage? Roid rage. <laughs> I, think, I think Frank's on that roid rage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I had to steal a couple of these tactics against Vega. I didn't no, have really. a to play him, but. Oh, okay. does the sack throw? Goes in front. Wow. I need to steal that combo because I don't in. do it. I just do the regular sweep, but OK. Uh, comes in with deep with the, the roundhouse there, knocks off the claw. Too much oh. frame advantage right there. Yeah. Roy Bizzle in a great spot. He's got meter build. He's just he could chill out right now. Really. Yeah. His his low. Oh, wow. We went for it. Dude. <laughs> That's awesome. What's kind of fun about Vegas Super is that the super only activates when he successfully grabs you. Right. So eventually he has infinite opportunities. It's like an option select too yep. within itself. So once once Vega gets his his super filled, every input that Brent does is the super motion. Because just in case he right, gets the right, right, exactly. Going off the wall. Okay. Gets to punish. He went for a throw. Mm -hmm. Very, very deep. Doesn't punish the cartwheel back. Okay. He's going to be dirty about it? Yeah. Yep. Yes, he is. Dirty, dirty. No, he was fair. He was forgiving. Right there. He was forgiving. <laughs> I don't think he would have been able to get out of that third one. Yeah, no. All right. So both have super loaded. They're laming it out right now. Yeah. But Frank needs a miracle right yeah. now. <laughs> uh, but Brent's saying, I, yo, I got this. Come here, bro. Don't lose <laughs> patience. He's like, I got 20 seconds yeah, to race. I got 20 seconds. Come here, bro. Oh, 14. Wow. Oh, okay. Claw's gone. Got the hit, Chip though. him out. Chip him out. Chip him out. Oh. oh. Wow. Double okay. Double. Oh. <laughs> hype, hype. Oh. oh, stuffs him with the low forward. What a great move. Woo. All right. Punishes the escape route there. Punishes it again. Does little strong to add up. Coming off the wall. Ooh, Ooh. nice headbutt. Mm -hmm. Good anti air. That's about the only thing that effectively anti air is making because wow. he's so fast. All right. Are we getting. Are we getting. Here we go. Headbutt Head. and chip him out. Yep. We're going to final round, guys. Final. <laughs> you don't get a score for final round, but you <laughs> get pride. Final round. All right. Here we go. Ooh, wow. I like that. Good anti air. Yep. Plucked him off the wall. Get a, get off my dome, he says. <laughs> All right, fist sweep into Stan Stan Fierce. It's just so good. And built a chunk wow, of meter. Wow, wow. Grabs him out of the head, but punishes. Probably, oh, oh, okay. Straight. I thought he was a super or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think. Might have been. Yeah, it's it definitely what he tried to input. There's no way he would have done a just, jab straight rush there. Yeah. Because Vega ducks ducks jab rush. Um, so that would have been free punish. But it worked uh, out for him. It's all 1-0. 1-0. 2-0. 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. So Frank on tournament point, unless Brent can turn it around here. These are okay. great matches. Um, they're just happen to be going uh, really fast. SD's too fast of a game. Yeah, it is too fast. But 
That's why it's great, because if you lose and you get salty, you get right back <laughs> in it. All right. Flip kick. Takes the, takes the double juggle. Hopefully. Okay. Roy gets away with that fierce headbutt. Ooh. Ooh. That's a really that was weird, weird trade. That was weird. The back shoulder trade. Okay. Oh, that was, that was some shimmying by Brent. Yeah. Autocorrect. Okay. All right. See, the other, his, his uppercuts that, going, that are going the other way to catch. Yeah, it's weird. It's, is like top tier stuff. Like, it really is. Very, very good strategies here. Comes in with a meaty uh, jump forward there. And Boxer could just escape his wall dive setups, mm -hmm. really, just a headbutt away. Yeah. Like. Now, there is ways, uh, situationals, like they can be punished, but. Oh, Ooh, wow. That is, that is it. Wow. We have a tournament. Frank takes the tournament with Boxer. Very convincingly. Yeah. Very convincingly. You know, solid, solid play. Very uh, solid. And so we have our top eight. First place, we have uh, Roy Bizzle. Second place, we have Immortal. Third place, Mad, Mad King. King. Fourth place, yours truly, Renegade. <laughs> uh, and fifth place, we have uh, a tie for uh, Atari and uh, Arch, Arch Nemesis. And Arch Nemesis? Arch, Arch, Arch Villain, sorry. Arshad, Arch yeah, yeah. Arshad. Okay. Uh, and then uh, seventh place tie, we have Bonky and Llama. Okay, um, all right. I, I want to thank you guys for, for watching. What, what what impressed you by the top top eight? Uh, Frank's play, he came to kill it, man. I think yeah. he's, I honestly think that um, it's a practice for 